ऑनलाइन सपोर्ट प्रोग्राम क्लास नाइन वीक टेन लेसन फाइव सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी टेक्स्ट बुक बायोलॉजी पेज नंबर फ्रॉम नाइन्टी फाइव टू नाइन्टी नाइन यूनिट फोर सेल साइकिल टॉपिक मियास ऑब्जेक्टिव बाय द एंड ऑफ द लेसन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू रिवाइज मियासिस वन डिस्कवरी ऑफ मियासिस फेजेस ऑफ मियासिस वन प्रोफेज वन मेटाफेज वन एनाफेज वन एंड टीलोफेज वन एट द एंड साइटोकाइनेसिस मियासिस वन डिस्कवरी इन 1876 अ जर्मन बायोलॉजिस्ट ऑस्कर हार्टविक डिस्कवर्ड एंड डिस्क्राइब मियासिस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम Now come towards the definition of the meiosis. Meiosis is the process by which one diploid to an eukaryotic cell divides to generate four haploid one and daughter cells having half number of chromosomes is called meiosis. Now what does this definition mean? It means that from a single parent cell four daughter cells will be produced but with half number of chromosomes here we also come across the term diploid actually diploid mean 2n when we are having the chromatids in pair form so they are known as diploid when we are having the chromosomes not in a paired form they are single so they are known as haploid that's why it is symbolized as 1n so a single parent cell or from a diploid cell four daughter cells will be produced which will be haploid and they will be having half number of chromosomes as in mitosis we have read that at the end two daughter cells are produced with same number of the chromosomes as were having the parent cell just have a look on the difference between the diploid and a haploid cell you can see that the diploid are having pairs they are present in the form of pairs as for the haploid they are single meiosis 1 in meiosis 1 the homologous chromosomes in a diploid cell separate and so two haploid daughter cells are produced it is the step in meiosis that generates genetic variation now it means that we are having two meiosis phases one is meiosis 1 and the other is meiosis 2 in meiosis 1 two haploid daughter cells are actually produced from the homologous chromosomes in a diploid cells they will actually separate and the two haploid daughter cells will be produced actually this phase is the one which produce the genetic variations like you can take the example of yourself you are different from your parents you are different from your brother and sisters why it is so it is so because of the genetic variation different genetic information has been transferred from the parents to the offspring that's why these variations take place now come towards the steps of meiosis the major two steps of meiosis are karyokinesis and cytokinesis now come towards the karyokinesis first we will be discussing the karyokinesis as in mitosis i have already told you about the karyokinesis and the cytokinesis karyokinesis is actually the division of the nucleus cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm now karyokinesis is further subdivided into prophase 1 metaphase 1 anaphase 1 and telophase 1 now what will happen that these two chromosomes will exchange their chromatids and actually they exchange their genetic material and at the point they exchange their genetic material that point is known as chiasmata the non sister chromatids exchange their segments 
and the phenomena is known as crossing over okay when they are exchanging their chromatin with sorry when they are exchanging their genetic material so that process is actually known as this diagram that when the chromatid exchange their material so what will happen that then they will be known as chromatid now at the end nucleoli disappear and nuclear envelope also disintegrate duplicated centrioles migrate to the two poles and forms the spindle fibers i have already explained this in the mitosis lecture that two centrioles are present and combinedly they are known as centrosomes these centrosomes actually duplicate and they will move to the opposite pole and actually they help in the formation of the spindle fibers because of the because they join with the tubulin proteins tubulin proteins give rise to the spindle fibers when the centriole move to the opposite pole so the spindle fiber will be arise and those spindle fiber got attached to the chromosome at the point of a centromere and from the centromere i already told you that around the centromere kinetochore proteins are present which help in the attachment of the spindle fiber look at the diagram of the prophase one you can see the chromosomes inside the nuclear envelope right one is light purple other is blue you can see that they are exchanging their materials they are exchanging their chromatids right as for the second pair you can see the maroon and the orange one they are also exchanging their genetic material you can see the two uh, centrioles also from which the spindle fiber are arise and you can see the nuclear envelope which is going to be disintegrated within the prophase come towards the second phase that is the metaphase 1 as i have already told you students about metaphase stage in mitosis that what happen only the chromosomes line up they come in the line they form a plate like structure and that is called a metaphase plate same is the case with the metaphase 1 in meiosis that the chromosome will come in a line but only the difference is that they will be in pair form the chromosomes will be in pair form in mitosis the chromosomes were not in a pair form they were single they singly align themselves but in metaphase 1 they will form pair and this pair will align themselves and then they will attach themselves to the spindle fiber at the point of kinetochore anaphase 1 if you recall the anaphase of mitosis i told you that actually the pulling of the chromosomes take place in which the in which the chromosome divided into two and a sister chromatids move towards the opposite pole but as for the anaphase one same case will be here also the chromosomes will be moved towards the opposite pole by the by the attraction of the spindle fibers right they will attract in the opposite poles so the spindle so the chromosome will be attracted towards the opposite pole but as the chromosome are present in pair form so half of the chromosomes will move towards the upper pole and half of the chromosomes will move towards the down pole full chromosomes will be moving towards the opposite pole in this way two cells are formed right you can see that kinetochore spindle fiber shorten it result in pulling apart the chromosome of each pair since one chromosome is pulled towards one pole two haploid sets are formed each chromosome still contains a pair of sister chromatids as i have told you that a fully chromosome will move towards the opposite pole so they will be having their own sister chromatids the two sister chromatids right look at the diagram of the anaphase one you can see that two chromosome move towards the upper pole and two chromosome are moving towards the south pole by the pulling of the spindle fiber telophase one now what will happen the chromosome has reached to the opposite pole as the chromosome reach towards the opposite pole so the spindle fiber will disappear 
in mitosis i have told you that telophase is the reversal of the prophase so here the spindle fiber will disappear nuclear envelope will appear from each set of the haploid right and the chromosomes will ag again uncoil themselves into the chromatin material you can see in the diagram students that now a nuclear envelope has been formed around each set of chromosomes now the chromosome will change themselves again to the chromatin here up to telophase when the nuclear division is completed but still cytokinesis is left when the cytokinesis will take place then these two cells will detach from one another and two daughter cells will be produced with a half number of the chromosomes so cytokinesis right it is just when the cleavage is produced in the cytoplasm and which result in the separation of the two cells this is cytokinesis after meiosis one both haploid daughter cells enter a period of rest known as interkinesis or interphase 2 we have already discussed about the interphases which is the phase of the cell cycle the first phase of the cell cycle when cytokinesis is completed so i have told you that two haploid daughter cells will be produced haploid mean that with a separate uh, with, uh, they are present in a separate the chromosomes are present in a separate form they are in, in the form of chromatids right so interphase 2 is different from the interphase of mitosis and meiosis 1 why it is different it is different because there is no s phase in meiosis 2 when meiosis 2 is going to be started just right after the meiosis 1 so duplication uh, phase will be neglected why because already we are provided with the chromosomes and they are all they are duplicated in meiosis 1 so there is no need of duplication of the chromosomes in meiosis 2 you can see the cytokinesis right cytoplasm is going to move inside and the two cells are separating from one another each cell with its own nuclear envelope with its own centriole with its own chromosomes so students hope you find this lecture easy and interesting thank you